How's it going everybody and welcome back to Lead Therapy and thank you so very much for taking time for tuning into the video. Most of you have watched by now some of those heart-wrenching videos coming out of Afghanistan showing American planes taxiing down the runway and Afghani citizens hanging on to the outside of the plane wanting to get away from the Taliban and people are actually losing their lives trying to escape holding on to those planes. Meanwhile you see videos of the Taliban holding weapons and working out in a gym as well having a good time on bumper cars. And we all know from past world history when governments start confiscating citizens weapons things don't turn out well for those people. And the Taliban is now confiscating guns from civilians in Kabul. For decades the Taliban has been fighting an insurgent campaign to take control of Afghanistan. And now thanks to the defectless decisions of the Biden administration and the Afghan government, they've been able to roll in the capital of Kabul with little opposition. And now that the Taliban have taken control, they want to assure that no opposition will rise up in response of the establishment of a terror state. Taliban fighters in the Afghan capital Kabul started collecting weapons from civilians on Monday because people no longer need them for personal protection, a Taliban official said. And you can really trust those Taliban officials, you know that, right? We understand that people kept weapons for personal safety. They can now feel safe. We are not here to harm innocent civilians. Yeah, right, we really believe that. The official told Reuters News. As the Taliban marched across Afghanistan the past few weeks, there has been plenty of harm done to innocent civilians. Taliban forces in Afghanistan are targeting critics for attack, despite claiming they have ordered their fighters to act with restraint. In Kandahar, the Taliban have been detaining and executing suspected members of the provincial government and security forces, and in some cases, their relatives. Among recent cases, the Taliban executed a popular Kandahari comedian, Nazar Mohammed, known as Kasha Zwan, who posted routines that included songs and jokes on TikTok. He had reportedly also worked with local police. On July 22nd, 2021, Taliban fighters abducted Kasha Zwan from his home in southern Kandahar and beat him and then shot him multiple times. After a video of two men slapping and abusing Kasha Zwan appeared on social media, the Taliban admitted that two of their fighters killed him. Taliban forces apparently executed Kasha Zwan because he poked fun at Taliban leaders, said Patricia Grossman, Associate Asia Director of Human Rights Watch. His murder and other recent abuses demonstrate the willingness of the Taliban commanders to violently crush even the tamest criticism or objection and it's so much easier to violently crush the opposition once you have disarmed them. It's also easier to abduct women off the streets when they're not carrying a gun to protect themselves. And that's why everybody here at home should be committed more than ever before to defend our liberties from our First Amendment right to criticize our government leaders, to worship or not as we choose, and protect ourselves and our nation by exercising our Second Amendment right to keep and bear arms. Freedom is a tenuous thing and if you have any doubt, just look at the newly disarmed citizens of Kabul now that they are under the Taliban's rule. Let me know your thoughts about this story in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video or if I gave you some information you didn't know, please like, share, and subscribe and hit those post notifications. And I will see you in the next video.